द क्वेश्चन इज इफ सी इज इक्वल टू अल्फा कॉम ऑफ बीटा बी द सर्कम सेंटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय दिस थ्री लाइन्स देन अल्फा माइनस बीटा होल स्क्वायर प्लस अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज इक्वल टू सो टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट लेट अस सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशंस लेट अस अज्यूम दिस अस इक्वेशन वन टू एंड थ्री सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू इक्वेशन वन माइनस फोर इनटू इक्वेशन थ्री ओके सो फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी नाइन माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी एट वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू फोर्टी फोर सो दिस विल गेट कैंसल दिस विल गिव यू माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सेवेंटी फाइव सो माइनस माइनस ऑन बोथ साइड विल गेट कैंसल एंड वाई विल बी इक्वल टू सेवन then we can also find x here in this using these two same equations 4 into x is equal to 3 into 7 is equal to 69 so x is equal to 69 minus 21 by 4 x is equal to 12 okay so we got uh, This x y is equal to seven and x is equal to twelve. Solving the first and third equation. Now let us solve uh, the third, second and third equations. So minus three x plus four y is equal to seventeen. Here we are going to do the operation second minus three into the third equation okay so this is the second one minus 3 into the third one would be minus 3x minus 21y minus 183 all right or uh, let us uh, make this let us add this one so that we can cancel out this terms so this let this be in plus so we can now cancel these terms right so this will become 25y and this will become 200 so y will be equal to 8 similarly using this we can find x just 3 into x minus 3 into x plus 4 into 8 is equal to 17 so we will get 32 Minus seventeen minus three is equal to x. Thirty-two minus seventeen minus three is equal to x. So using this, we will get x is equal to five. So here we got uh, for the second time x. Uh, x is equal to five and y is equal to eight. Before we had got y is equal to seven and x is equal to twelve. So now let us try to form the triangle using these three lines. Let us uh, find out some relation between the slope of the three lines. Let us go back to the lines. So from this we can see that um, there is some uh, relation in the slope of the first and second line. So if you see slope of the first line. Can be written as m is equal to minus a by b. Slope of the first line will be minus four by three. This is slope of the first line. Slope of the second line minus a by b is equal to minus into minus three by four, which is plus three by four. And we can see that m one into m two is equal to minus one, minus four by three. Into plus three by four is equal to minus one, right? Minus one. So this means that the two lines are perpendicular to each other. So we can write the equation relation that 
line 1 is perpendicular to line 2. So this can help us in forming the triangle using the three lines. So let the base line be 4x plus 3y is equal to 69 and the one perpendicular to it is minus 3x plus 4y is equal to 17 and the other line remaining is x1 x plus 7y is equal to 61 and these are perpendicular so they form 90 degree angle now as we have formed the triangle which is a right angle triangle and they have asked us to find the circumcenter of the triangle formed by these lines so remember that the circumcenter of a right angle triangle is the midpoint of its hypotenuse so this will be the circumcenter and we already have the uh, coordinates with us which is uh, 7 um, which is x1 y1 is equal to 12 comma 7 right and uh, x2 y2 is equal to 5 comma 8 right so using this we can find the midpoint of the hypotenuse that will be um, 12 plus 5 by 2 x1 plus x2 by 2 right midpoint is x1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to 17 by 2 comma 5 uh, no wait 8 plus 7 by 2 which is 15 by 2 so these are the coordinates now they have asked us to find alpha minus beta whole square alpha so this is equivalent to alpha comma beta right equivalent to alpha comma beta so now let us do the operation alpha minus beta whole square plus alpha plus beta 17 minus 15 is 2 by 2 is equal to 1 square which is 1 plus 17 plus 15 is 32 by 2 is 16 so finally we get 1 plus 16 is equal to 17 so the answer of the question is 17